Hello and welcome to part 9 of our Tyrrell P34 1 12th Tamiya Big Scale Series Formula 1 car. That's a mouthful. And yes, like I said, we're up to part 9. And thank you for joining. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and uh, the notifications tab so you get notified when the videos come out. Uh, if you're coming into this for the first time, we've got a whole playlist starting from part one. You can follow right through if you want to build this or get an idea of what it takes to build this. And uh, you'll see right up to where we are now. In the last video, we finished doing the radiators and oil coolers and we fitted them to the car. Went on really well and the car's starting to really take shape now. That is where we're working on the rear wing stay. So it looks like another cooler of some sort of radiator that needs to be put together. I've got the parts down here, including the photo etch um, that's going to go on. Um, they're already painted gloss black when it's put together. This part here we're moving across and doing what looks like part of the, uh, I don't know, I guess it's part of the support for the rear wing. This needs to be done in uh, chrome silver, including these attachments. So I'll do them. And while I got the chrome silver out, the only other parts on this step that need to be done are these little supports that go between the, um, looks like the support for the rear wing. So I'll paint them up while we're at it as well. So um, I'll go ahead and do these and then we'll be able to move further down and start putting together the base main structure of this uh, rear wing support. Okay, so, all right, I'll be back shortly, guys. Okay, welcome back, everybody. So, uh, here's all the parts I'm going to go paint now. Um, so, I'm going to get some undercoat on those to start with, some primer. And I went ahead and put all the other parts together for this rear wing stay. Well, not together, I've cleaned them all up, got them on the sprue. Um, I'm just looking at the way they're fitting together. Uh, it's quite unusual because we've got some pieces of the black sprue that sit here, and then we've got this little piece here that sits inside there, yet it's off, it's off a silver sprue, but it has to be painted gloss black like the piece it's going into. See? So that's going to sit down in there. So what I'll do is I'll glue that in place, and just spray it while it's in there like that. Uh, just unusual that they use that colour sprue for something that's going to be painted black. Anyway, um, this is the tail light assembly here, all right? And there's our tail light that needs to be done in uh, clear red, which we'll, we'll do that on the sprue and get that looking nice. Um, these parts here fit together, and these have to be painted in, uh, what is it, uh, aluminium. Uh, they fit together, and then it's keyed in. So these are left and right pieces. Don't get them mixed up. Not that you can, because this has a little slot you see there where this is going to fit, and it's only going to go in one way, like that. Okay, and that's going to go on the side. All these are aluminium, so that means that uh, we can connect that, glue that in place, and then spray it. Now, the other parts on either side here, these are actually the colour of the car, that beautiful blue. So what I'm going to do is just spray them the blue, but... Um, I'm only going to clear coat them in the Outlaw Paints normal clear. I'm not going to diamond clear them because to mix up a minimum amount, it ends up with five mils, which is enough to spray a hundred of these and you end up throwing it out. It's once the hardener starts working in that 2K clear, you can't use it anymore. And because they're just small parts on the inside of this rear wing that's not as visible, it's going to look fine once they're done in just the normal gloss clear. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do there. So I'm going to go paint some parts now, and uh, we'll come back and have a look at them, and then uh, we'll get all these parts put together for step 31. Okay, I'll be back shortly. Hey, welcome back. So I just want to give a bit of a tip here. These two parts here that need to be painted the blue of the Formula 1 car, um, they sit, and I'll just show you, will sit on there. Okay, so where that lines up that hole actually that way around uh let me know let me just show you this correctly 
Yeah, that's right. So what I'm right, that's it like that. So that's going to stick up above this. All right. So this will be the blue. This will be aluminium. It's going to stick above that, which means you'll see the other side. And the other side has uh, in a uh, injector pin mark. So on here, you won't see. I've actually taken it off on that. All right. There's a little one. There's one there as well, but that will actually be covered. So you won't see that. I did just make sure it was flat. That's all. If you compare it to the other piece, all right, look at that. See that circle there? There's our pin mark. So I would suggest you just sand that off because it can be seen. Um, and there's the other one at that end as well, which doesn't really need it because it'll be covered. Um, but I think both of these will be covered anyway once the rear wing goes on. But still, you know, we don't want pin marks like that. So just be aware that uh, both sides uh, can be seen after that's put in place. Okay, I uh, will continue on. The other parts are painted. Um, that little oil cooler or whatever it is that's on the back, the radiator, that's done, um, primed, and I'm going to get that. These, I'm just getting these ready, and I'll put them. I've already glued this piece on here because that's all going to be aluminium. And, um, and I've glued that piece in there where our tail light will go. All right, I shall return again shortly. Okay, back again. Um, I'm just getting this top bar, I'll put the instructions back up in the corner there. For, you can see that I've just put this bar on here. And um, it's going to swing down. And that's connected across, so that, that's all good. And now there's these brackets here. So I'm looking at that last step where we, that's they're going to hook into there and on here on this side. So they're pretty much going this. I'll just put that in there. You've got to be careful with these things. Might be good to me. Come on. There we go. There's one in. And this one will go on here. Come on. It's going to behave for me. Come on. In you go. There. Okay. Put that like that. There we go. All right. So those brackets will go down onto the um, top of the transmission. Okay. So you can see that in the instructions. Sort of jumped ahead a little bit here. Um, the radiator is done and painted up there. So that's all done. Looking nice. Okay. So we can put that there now. Um, then we've got these two chrome silver brackets that go um, through the rear wing stay area which has now been painted and I'm waiting on that to dry so um, those will go on separately okay that can go to the side uh, these I'll put them over here so that they're ready um, the tail light there is painted up in the clear red might do another coat we'll just see um, we'll see how that goes. Um, other than that, I'm just waiting on those paint bits to dry so we can put the bit, put all that bigger section and all of this on. So uh, I'll be back when that's ready. Okay, back in a sec. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. So I've got the parts painted um, that need to be blue. So while they're drying, um, I've gone ahead and put this together. Um, it was fairly easy really just putting on each side make sure if you're going to do this just attach these in before you attach the sides there because otherwise you're going to have difficulty all needs to go together okay or otherwise you're going to have trouble getting it through um, the pieces i got drying uh, go across here they're the, the blue parts the same as the rest of the Formula 1 car um, I've painted them blue they look fantastic I've given them a clear coat 
not 2K clear, just a gloss clear from the Outlaw Paints. Um, and they will attach there and there, um, simple, on each side. Um, I've popped the radiator in there, that's in there. That's not glued yet, but I just it just fits there nice and firmly. So I'll touch some glue on the inside and make sure that stays put. But So that that's the rear wing stay, as they call it. Call it. Um, as soon as that clear coat's finished, and I, I'll put that the blue stripping on there. Um, we'll be able to put this on, okay, which connects onto the back of the car. And uh, what else? Oh, and we've still got to put the light in, which I haven't done the second coat of paint yet. I think I'll do that now. All right, so next time we come back, I'll have the car down here and uh, we'll be fitting all this onto the back of it. All right, okay, exciting stuff. Back shortly. Hey, welcome back. So here we are, the Formula One car on the mat. And um, I'm still waiting on those other parts to dry. I've done the clear coat, so I'm just gonna leave it longer. But in the meantime, I figured I can put this brace on. I think it's like a sort of a sway bar um, sort of thing. And this is the piece here. And there's little two connecting points that go into here. And then these drop down and clip down into the bottom. So I'm blocking where you can't see, but they click on each side there. So what I did was I'm just test fitting it in the top here. And it, it's really good because it does actually slide on really nice. There it is there. That's exactly where I want that to sit. That's where I'm going to glue it. And these, this can, these can move up and down because they're not glued in place. And that adjusts for the height so that they'll connect and they will clip straight in. Okay. Which I will do after I glue this on because that'll provide a bit more support and I don't have to fiddle around too much. And uh, they'll clip in. All right. I'm just going to do that. And then uh, we might do a quick test fit of the uh, rest of the um, rear wing stay. Okay. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, we're back now, and uh, I've actually fitted this um, rear wing stay on. It's quite simple. It just drops straight down. There's, there's two little clips that you just spread it apart in there, and they'll slip in there, line up perfectly, and then the back just sits down over a couple of not like a little pin, pins in the back. No problem at all. Um, the only thing I came across as a problem was there is a hose that comes off the back that was put in an earlier step. Um, it's a small one. It's this one here that comes up that I, um, it sort of gets in the way a little bit. I'm not sure where it runs to. And it's really awkward to get back on again. So um, I've left it off, but somewhere further in the instructions, possibly in the next step, because step 32 is, is practically the whole thing is connecting the tubing. There might be something there, but otherwise I've taken it off for the moment because it's just it was just getting in the way. But uh, that's fine. Now I've got these two bits. These are the nice blue parts that we had to paint up separately. There they are. Uh, they are going to sit one on each side on here. I, like I said, it's much easier it was for me to do this last. And they go on quite uh, simply just by... Um, sitting in the tab I have test fitted I think yes I did test fit so that one's going to go like that and this end will go like that I mean the fit is incredible so that's one side I mean let me just show you you can see it a bit better so then it's going to sit there I think they're like a support for the actual rear wing that's going to go across the top and you can see how I did have to paint both sides like that but, uh, yeah so um, yeah I'll just glue these on and that will be the end of step 31 I'm pretty sure yeah step 31 I think I showed you this all connected on so that's again went on well so no problem at all so I'll come back and um, we'll move on uh, to step 32
uh, which is heaps of hoses going the right places. Okay, back in a sec. Okay, welcome back. So um, I found out where that hose goes. It is actually in this it's showing where it connects up to the little pipe just on the side of the uh, rear st stay here. So what I've got to do is I had to push it down in through there and get it over the top of if you can see in there I'll see if i can turn this around it's gonna lose a bit of focus but yeah it goes into there once it's pushed in i'm going to just attach a bit of glue in there before i try and uh, bend it and connect it up onto that and then this little black radiator that runs under the rear of the car under there um, there's another 20 mil hose which is a new piece that we have to cut for this step. And it goes from the top of that little radiator into the other end of the hose here. Okay, it's going to go from there to there. It's the same length, 20 mils, but the, it's a lot straighter. So that shouldn't be any problem. Um, one thing with these two is, you know, this is what made that hard to connect down there, was if you can trim the end of these where the hose is going to connect, they're going to slide on a lot easier because they're really, really tight. Um, and that one I forgot to do, so I had to get in there with my blade and carefully um, just knock a bit off the edge of it so that would slide on, and it did. Um, I probably will do the same here as well. Um, the other option, if it's too tight and you don't want to be scraping paint off, is use a bit of oil. Like, I just used some oil. I, I'm sure I used it somewhere else in the build where something was a tight fit, um, and just put a dab of that on there. And, uh, and that seemed to fix the problem. Um, I don't know where that oil is. I think I put it away, but it's a tiny little tube. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah, so I'll connect those two. They're in the first picture, and they're labelled as uh, vinyl tubing I and K. Okay. K is the only piece you need to cut for this. All the rest of the tubing in, these, in this whole th step 32 uh, already on the car. It's just showing you where all the ends go. All right, which is what all this is here. We need to get all this going where it belongs. Okay, so um, I'll do that. If there's any issues along the way, I'll let you know, and uh, we'll be back shortly. Uh, a couple more things also I'll just mention. If you've got a pair of pliers that have a flat end like these, these are really good for gripping the, the tubes and helping you reach into slide them on where they go and also while i was looking up the at the rear of the end of the car there i forgot i've still got to put our red um, tail light in there so i will do that okay back again shortly okay we're back got all the hoses connected a um, little bit tricky some of them um, one in particular we have a hose that runs off this connection down in here and it comes round here quite tight and goes in underneath and connects in the back. That one is almost impossible to connect down in the back, but you can't see it anyway. So I've managed to get the hose down in where it's sort of got to go, but not actually on the attachment. The best way to do that would be to do it before you fit this rear wing stay, um, even though it doesn't tell you till after you fit it. But yeah, much easier access. The other thing with these hoses is they're quite um, a little bit stiff and they're a bit difficult to keep where you want. Like this one, we want to have that run down pretty much like that. And I can't, you know, I may have to like, I don't know, touch glue it or get it to stay down there in some way. Um, same with this one here. It's at the moment, touching the down near the exhaust there, it should come up a little bit higher and run more sort of like that, I'm guessing. They both run down into this uh, cooler on here. But uh, we'll figure that out. Um, one other thing is um, make sure these hoses go underneath these rods that are here. Okay. Um, again, I've attached them and attached them and didn't look properly and realize that they go under. Which was okay. I just unclipped it from here and then put it under and clipped it back. But you don't want to do that too often because they're quite fragile and you don't want to break them like I had one break. But other than that, it's all fine. 
So there you go. I'll put a couple of pictures up in the corner so you can get a better look. Um, some also the hose being quite stiff as well doesn't like bending too well, and you get sort of not smooth bends as you might notice in some of the pictures. Uh, but there's nothing I can do about that. It's just the the, the rubber they're using and the type of hose. Um, uh, even if you were to heat it up, um, it's still going to go like that. So you know you could try and put in some hot water to soften it. Um, but I think it's still going to stiffen up because they are quite stiff hoses. All right, so that's done. Step 32. Let's um, move things out of the way here and have a look at what we got for step 33. I'll be back in a sec. Hello and welcome back. So we've moved on now to step 33. And we've got some photo etch to do here. And it's the seat belts. I'll put the instructions up in the corner. I'm just holding this up so we don't get too much glare from the light. So there's quite a lot of pieces here. <laughs> and uh, obviously it looks like um, we've got the right and left at front. And then actually in the next step, there's the center seat belt. So there's quite a bit parts to this. Um, We've got all these sections, all these parts in here, and mostly for the seat belts. That looks like the seat belts themselves in Photo Etch. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take off all the parts, lay them all out on here in the order they have to be put together, particularly that center buckle that you see there. There's looks like there's like 12 parts to that. <laughs> and uh, and then uh, we'll work out uh, how we're going to go about the. Um, the rest of it. Anyway, I'll, I'll make the start, I'll get them all off, and then we'll see how we go get about putting these together. I'll be back in a sec. Oh, just to correct myself, those aren't the belts, they're obviously something else. Um, this kit actually comes with, they're sort of decals, but they're like a, I don't know, like a material decal. See? We'll see what happens there. I don't know if I have to cut them out whether this peels off I don't know but uh, we'll figure it out but first we'll start with the photo etch okay I'll be back in a sec okay welcome back everybody so here's what I've figured out these parts here are all for the single single buckle that the belts connect into so they need to be attached in that order on top of each other to create that buckle these parts here are for one of the belt straps. And these, as I've never used these before, these are like a sort of a material, but they've got an adhesive backing and they peel off. I wasn't sure if I had to cut them into shape, but fortunately not. But still, I have to be very careful to, to lift those and peel them off. See, they are, they sort of have a backing like this, see. So, yeah, I, I, I can't film this. It'll be too small. I'm going to glue these together. I'll be using my Photo Etch glue, the MIG Ammo glue, Ultra Glue. Um, watered down, probably I'll do it a bit thinner than that. And I'll be using the Icky Sticky Micro Brush Applicators. These are 1.2 mil to apply them because, yeah, there's quite a lot of tiny bits to be glued on top of each other. And at the same time, keep them perfectly straight um so that will be tricky as well the files i used because it's very difficult to get these metal photo etch pieces off without leaving some sort of a tab but i've managed to use these diamond files also from icky sticky um, to file around and get them all smooth so they'll look good all right so anyway hopefully when i come back we will be at least have these put together and make a start on these and i'll show you a bit of progress as we go all right, wish me luck back shortly. Hey, welcome back. So we're progressing a bit here. I've got the buckle done. Um, only just finished though, just letting that dry properly using the canopy glue from Migamo. These parts here, you'll see I've um, put the buckles, actually these on here um, and stuck them back down. They're sort of a, sort of a material type thing. I don't know what, 
this is. If you know what this type of material is, let me know in the comments. But um, I figure I, I don't want to lose the stickiness, so I've done the ends like that, so that buckle's done. This one here, that's done. It just needs this put on it. That's for that main center piece. Um, these are done. There's two of these. These are the front ones. And again, I've just bent them over like they're supposed to be and put them in place. So very fiddly stuff. And now I'm about to start on these parts here and see what I can do with those. There's a few more, a um, couple more of these little clasps that need to go on and uh, yeah, and get them in. But they're going together well. Just a little bit of a test on your eyesight. <laughs> and uh, yeah. All right, um, I will continue on a bit further. We're back in a sec. Okay, welcome back again. So there they are. All the belts are done. Uh, we've got all our little clasps in there, all the hinges on there, our centerpieces there. I'm leaving them on here. They're all ready to go into the cockpit and where the seat is. But we can't do that because we haven't painted any of that yet. So we're just going to put this aside for later. Kick off step 33, which is done, and this was also in the next step 34, and uh, we're done. So um, fantastic. So that's it. We'll finish off the video here. A little bit shorter than normal, but uh, the next step is actually working on the tires and the rims. So that'll be great. And then it'll actually putting uh, the cockpit in with these in. So we're going to have to start painting some body panels pretty soon. Um, yeah, but uh, we can still put the wheels on and do quite a, other, quite a lot of other bits and pieces beforehand, but yeah. All right, so uh, thank you all for watching. Um, please subscribe if you haven't. Give us a thumbs up. Your comments are welcome down below. And uh, if you have any questions or if you've got any tips, just put them down there because uh, you know, I'll read all the comments and, and answer where I answer them as I can. And uh, I'll see you all in the next video, which is going to be part 10. Part 10. All right. And once again, don't forget uh, to hit when if you're notified, you get notified. I do live streams on Fridays, Friday morning, and you're welcome to join us and, and uh, have a chat. Uh, we'll talk about the model. We'll talk about whatever you guys are doing and talk about everything modeling. <laughs> Occasionally, we might even have a special guest on. So, uh, look forward to seeing you there too. Okay, guys, thank you all. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now. Cheers.